Well, would you believe it? It is midday on Friday, the 12th of June, 2020. Um, it's fantastic to catch up with you all. Of course, um, feel free to watch later. <laughs> and says hello to everybody watching and anybody who's gonna watch later. And before I forget, tonight, there is a Zoom that Scott Fisher is putting on where if you have any questions, because I know you can't really ask questions um, when we're doing this live, then you can ask those questions then. I'm sure Scott will post his um, link on here and it's seven o'clock tonight. There will be a full Q&A and Scott does fantastic Zooms and thank you for all the Zooms you've been doing throughout the weeks. Um, so I've got a few sub, uh, subjects to talk about um, that are very pertinent to the business. Um, so let's get straight into them because there's no avoiding it. I want to talk about sales and stock figures. So sales, we don't generally talk about because we leave that for our successful distributors to talk about. You know, it's really up to the network to talk about the sales and the success they're having. And that's what makes it so special when it comes from real people at the coalface. Look, any company, and I've been involved with many of them, can talk about numbers and figures and ratios and rubbish like that and percentages, but, and any company does, but the real, the reality of numbers and the reality of how a business is doing comes from the coal face. It always has done and it always will do. It comes from you, the people at the forefront of the business. So you've seen that all over social media. There's so much going on. Um, we've come through a lot like the rest of the world has. That's not just, um, just us. Everybody's come through such a time in the nation and we're still going through it. And it seems to be one thing after another. However, when it comes to our progress, our sales, and most importantly, progress and momentum, that is what you do. And it's that, that's what you talk about and you do it so well. So any success you have, you should continue posting it because it's so important for the organization and for your colleagues to see. And it's so brilliant to see new people doing well. You know, we have some brand new people and we will recognize them at the showcase. And I'll talk about, in the, uh, the, talk about the showcase in a moment. We've got brand new people that are having success straight away but let me just point this out if you are new and you haven't seen that success yet please don't worry about it because success does come with effort and determination I don't want anybody to be put off just because they see somebody else having an enormous amount of success you know your success will be based on your benchmark and your effort and your determination and it doesn't always flow for everybody immediately but success ultimately does come in anything you want to put effort into and I mean anything not just our business but almost anything so stock figures. Now lately, you know, as I told you, as we went into lockdown, we had um, notification that the world of manufacturing was preparing for something to happen in the world. So we bought deeply and we bought ample stock. And as you noted, all the way until about a couple of weeks ago, we almost not only fulfilled everything, but we delivered everything absolutely on time. Um, of course, lately, there has been a worldwide shortage of various manufacturing components. Factories have started to reopen um, in the last three or four weeks. So it's playing catch up. I mean, I can honestly tell you the only thing I will kind of boast about a tiny bit is we have more orders for products out there than I have seen in many, many, many years. The investment in products is absolutely vast, but it's a supply chain that is di having difficulty. And you've noticed that in your supermarkets where, you know, when you go shopping, there isn't the wide selection of products available. There's some things you just can't get anymore um, and they don't have variety. Well, manufacturing is the same. So you'll find that, you know, 
our supply chain is getting there because there's multiple supply chains we work with, not just one. Um, and anybody can produce products nowadays. However, it's all about quality and it's about delivery. So, you know, we're working on all that, um, but bear with us, you know, we've had a tremendous run through a time when a lot of retail has suffered. We've had a tremendous run, regardless of how sales dropped and then magnificently picked up um, towards the bank holiday weekend, the last one we had. And it's never really looked back. Our target of 1st of June that we set on the 24th of April worked an absolute treat and, and it got us back where we wanted the business to be. Now, we've still got momentum to catch up just like the rest of the world has got to catch up and rest of retail has to catch up. But do you know what? The progress you individuals are making, you don't need me to believe about that. You can see it all over social media, has been phenomenal. I mean, none of us could have um, forecast what was going to happen. None of us could have forecast how it was going to end. None of us can forecast what's going to happen in the next few months. But like I told you a few weeks ago, you have to keep planning. You can't just sit back and wait for things to happen. You have to forecast. You have to plan. You have to put things into place to make sure that your business not only survives, but survives very well indeed. So, like I said, you know, our momentum is getting back there. The su challenges are with supply chains. For once, it's nothing to do with not ordering something or not enough. It's entirely supply chain. And you will see that from Monday across the board in any retail organization you go into. There will be supply chain challenges everywhere you look, no matter what kind of shop you go into, there will be. But you know what? The good thing is that we are still on top of it. There's not much more we can do than to keep putting orders in and keep trying to be on top of it, which is what we're doing. So, that now brings me on to, of course, the next event. We've got a summer showcase next Saturday. Today, you'll get the full agenda and you'll get the link again emailed to you. Um, it's open to anybody. It's the first live stream of this kind. There will be no audience, but there will be 12 testimonials from some of the people at the helm of our organization that not only support the business fully, but have done everything they possibly can to build the business. I know many people have done that, but we can't feature everybody. So on the day, Saturday 20th of June, starting at midday for three hours, our live stream will not only have some of the greatest people in our business delivering their testimonials and training, there will be new product launches, got some great products lined up for you, um, new catalog information, and just general information about the business and where we're going and that plan that I've talked to you now about for the next 18 months. Now, the overall plan is a lot bigger than that. No company should not have a plan. But the plan I will share with you is for 18 months, which takes us to the end of 2021. And, you know, that was a must. Any organization that wants to fly and go through and get through and build momentum has to have an 18 month plan, which takes us to the end of 2021. Our overall plan is a lot bigger than that. A lot, lot bigger. So, you know, and before I forget, you know, I'd just like to thank everybody that has so loyally supported this business. Let me tell you something, you know, at a time when the rest of the world stood still, and we did too, we stood still, stood still with everybody else in the world. We were also in lockdown and many of us still are. You know, at that time, uh, our business stood still like everybody else did. But you know, the one thing where you stand out compared to anything I've ever known. And that's the connection and confidence you built with each other. Not even necessarily with us, although you did do that vastly. I'm in with each other. I have never seen people come together like you came together in those 10, 12 weeks 
of lockdown. Our sales flowed all the way through. You saw that on social media. You don't need to tell me what was going on. We managed to deliver almost every single delivery on time until the bank holiday weekend when sales were shot off the chart. And not only that, the, like I say, it's, it's not about sales. It's about this amazing connection that you created with each other. Through that adversity, real characters came out. Real leadership started to develop. You started connecting with each other like you have never done before. And if anything else, the only thing I will add, you perfectly and honestly um, epitomize what I've always wanted and that was the people's business where people come first and you put yourselves first, you came first and that's now the result we're getting is because of that. The result in sales and turnover and success we're now getting is a result of everybody coming together the way you did and a sh the showcase next Saturday will be a thorough celebration of that. Look, there will be a day when we come together again and we have the greatest party we've ever had. And you know, we know how to party. I was looking at the opening video for the showcase, which was a reminder of the last time we met. And it seems a long time ago, 29th of February, when we had our New Year showcase, but that was a perfect demonstration of what we are like when we are together. So looking at that was very nostalgic, even though it's only a few months ago, but we will have that party. We will get it together once we're allowed to. But for now, do whatever you can to tune in at midday next Saturday. We'll send the link and the agenda out today. And it really is a thorough celebration of not only what we've achieved through adversity, but what we've achieved as a business. You know, this phase of the business is less than a year old. I know it's two years since we started the organization, but as you know, there were challenges in the first year. Um, so it's been one year since we properly connected and created the business that we all wanted to be a part of. It's not even a year yet. So Saturday will be a celebration of everything we've done, everything we've done through adversity and the way we connected and everything we are going to do over the next 18 months to carry on building this business and to keep supporting people. So, you know, everybody has had challenges. You know, we have as, as well. But like, it's one of the things we've been trying to do is promote the brand bigger than we have ever done before. And I'll give you a great example. You know, we now have our own aerosol um, de-icer. Now, the spray ones are fine, the trigger ones, but they're just not that effective. Um, so that one's being phased out. And we have our own Viva MK de-icer branded to us, and it does work very well and a 100 times better than its poor relation, the trigger spray. So, it, you know, branding is so important. There's so much we had in the pipeline that is still there, and I'll talk about next Saturday, how we, going, we are going to promote the brand and keep promoting the business. You know, don't forget, we are a fledgling big company. You know, the name was only originated two years ago. The rebranding or the reorganization into the better version of it was less than one year ago. So we don't compete with people because A, we honestly can't because there's businesses out there that are worth billions um, and they've been going 30, 40, 50 years. We don't compete with that. In fact, we don't compete with anyone. We're out there on our own in our unique way. And if anything demonstrated that perfectly, it was the lockdown weeks, the way you came together. I kid you not, no other organization managed that. And I should know, they really didn't. No organization managed that, but you did. I don't know how you did it, I don't know how you connected so well, but that environment and that aura that you created out of adversity is now bringing the results that we wanted as we came out of those terrible times. So 
uh, we've got a little competition to go through. You know, we're going to launch many more competitions as this year comes to a close and over the next few months. Why? Because we can. Okay, they're not yet ones that are going to send you across the world on all expenses paid trips. But you know what? Those will come and they will be fair ones. And, um, you know, and I'll make sure of that. Um, and those will come. Everything is in the pipeline in the five year plan. Absolutely everything. But we like doing little incentives. Um, and I'm going to do some of those draws now. I had to cut the names myself today because, of course, um, I haven't got Kirsty and Kieran here to help me. So hopefully it's not going to be too much of a mess. So here, look, I've even put there to remind me what the competition is. So this in my little Gustav Klimt box is um, five times £50 high street vouchers because, of course, the high street opens next week for every £100 of orders. So if you put uh, £500 worth of orders in, you will have five nominations in here. I'm going to pick five of those from this lovely golden box and we'll send those out to you. So these are, like I said, I need to drop them, for every £100 of orders. So these are high street vouchers. So the first one, let's get this done quickly, um, is Peter New. Congratulations, I think I've got this the wrong way around, but you can kind of work out, that's Peter New. Congratulations, Peter. Um, the second one is, and that's a 50 pound high street voucher, is Alan Bazin. Congratulations to you, well done. Um, number three um, is, uh, I can't, number three is Samantha Rushton and Dean Worrell, congratulations to you. Vouchers on their way to you as well. Great to see you doing so well in the business. Um, and number four is David and Jenny Gerry, my old friends from Red Roof. I love, used to love going to that meeting, even though it used to take me eight hours to get there and eight hours back. One of my most favourite meetings. So that's you. Um, and the fifth one is... Melanie Parsons. Again, Melanie, great to see your name on all the retail lists lately. It's great to have you in the business. So that those are five £50 voucher winners. And I've also got Costa Coffee in a Duchamp box. I remember the days when I used to wear ties. And you know, a tie, which is only like that, came in a box like that. What a waste of packaging. But anyway, on here, <laughs> I've got my instructions. Every single order that we've had since last week went into this drawer and it's for Costa Coffee vouchers. Five Costa Coffee vouchers for £20 each um, because again, coffee shops will be opening. So this was like a, just a, a little um, warm up for all those kind of things reopening. We've got five of these. And the first one is Nula and Cloda McDonald. That is so typical because in the Republic of Ireland, there may not even be Costa coffee shops, but if there isn't, we'll give you, get you something else. <laughs> Congratulations, and bloody typical that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> second one, um, Francis Farry. Well, fantastic, another one from Ireland, isn't that typical? And Francis, it's so lovely to see you back in the business. You know, I remember you so well from the clean, easy days. Your success was phenomenal. So welcome back to the organization. And I know you only came in last Last week which suggests you've already put orders in and that's fantastic thank you Francis great to um see you back let's see if I can find somebody some not that I've got anything against Ireland let's see if we can find somebody who isn't in the Republic of Ireland and here we go Birgit and David Birgit Cortez and David Gay congratulations thank you to you that's Costa Coffee on the way I'm sorry if you don't like coffee but um you know that's uh, that was just a celebration of coffee shops opening Les Chunga, <laughs> congratulations, my friend. Great to have you in the business. Uh, a plethora of information this man has. Thank you for that. And of course, the last one is Adele and John Hewitt. Congratulations to you. Coffee vouchers to you. Now, it's not the biggest competition in the world. Five fifty shopping uh, pound shopping vouchers. Five. £20 cost of coffee vouchers, but you know what? It's just a throwaway incentive just to reward people for putting orders in. One was for any order, one was for multiples of 100. Um, if we can regularly do things like that, of course we will and we'll continue to do that. The bigger incentives that people keep asking me for, remembering that we're not even one year old yet, are all in the pipeline. Everything, there's so many exciting and wonderful things we can do with this business because we connect in the way we do. And you know, 
people often talk about this and let me just tell you you know I mentioned not being competitive well of course I'm competitive we're born competitive and in business you have to be but not with anyone in particular not with anyone in particular more with myself always wanting to do better never happy with anything until it's bettered and that's always been the way and you know when people say it can't be done you know the old saying you do it and you take pictures because that's the way i've always been so that competition has always been a very internal thing but as an organization i'll tell you something one thing that is so important which stands out and really stood out over the last 12 weeks is the company culture that we are collectively creating. That's a lot of C's. I've got to be careful with my C's. The company culture that we're collectively creating. <laughs> that, yeah, alliteration. So the company culture we're collectively creating is something you rarely see in organizations. For all my years in the Clean Easy organization, that's what I tried to create. And it wasn't always possible. And it almost needed a business to start from scratch so you could set the foundation right at the beginning and fight for it from day one. And that's what we have collectively done. And what I mean about this collective culture that we have, it's a business where people do truly help each other. It's a business where people truly do support each other. Uh, it's a business where people truly care about each other. Now, you may not realize how much those things matter in a company, but I'll tell you something. If you're going to be about people, those things have to matter. Every company wants a unique and fantastic culture, but companies do not manage it because you get board, you get people on boards that change things, you get management that change things. Here, I've never worked as closely with the team and never worked as closely with the network. You damn well know, and there's people listening now, that if you have a plan and idea and it's workable, we'll make it work. So that company culture is so unique. And no matter where you go, and I've worked in many, many, many organizations, every organization wants it but they very rarely achieve it. But that's something we are so proud of. And that again is something we will celebrate on Saturday 20th of June. You know, I know we can't all be in one room. And when I look at those photographs um, from the 29th of February, you know, it's something that we do so well. I know we can't be together, but we will do the next best thing. And that is bring the showcase directly to you. It's the first live stream showcase we have ever done. It's the first one that most, most companies haven't even tried doing that yet. So we'll be at the forefront. There'll be some great speakers, some great information, and of course, recognition. You know, there's so many new people that we need to recognize that have come on board and not just had success because it's not all about success. It's about a connection they've created. Another C to add to my list of C's is confidence. You know, the confidence that I've seen in people at a time of mass adversity is something like I have never seen. So, you know, that's it really. You know, remember Scott's um, Zoom tonight at seven o'clock where you can ask any questions. I know it's difficult to ask questions here. I'm always open to questions. You can ask anything you want to. Um, you know, as far as business goes, we're getting that momentum. Um, but the company culture that you've created is like nothing I have ever seen. You know, dare I say it, we don't even have a collective of egos like many companies like ours do end up gathering. It's not even that. Everybody treats everybody as an equal trust me that is very rare in company culture so thank you for that i look forward to celebrating with you on the 20th of june at midday for our first live stream ever and i guess finally thank you to the staff who are always there and have 
supported us all all the way through in everything they do you know we're blessed to have some great people working with us um, and of course mostly to you we can't forget that you know without a network and this is something that many companies do forget you know without the network of people that we have we wouldn't have bugger all we wouldn't have an organization so it's ultimately down to you and every single individual that has anything to do with this little business of ours and remember it is a little business today um, and today you're still here at the beginning we're barely one year old so thank you for listening and giving up um midday on friday 12th of june i look forward to seeing you on the 20th of june and in the meantime have a fantastic weekend take care bye bye